By now you can see if we click on one of the items and we are going to prepare to add it, we expect this value will display inside this input field. So now we want to get the values of the specific to do and put it inside the input field. So it is more convenient for us to add it. So now we go to the mutations and then add here and we should go to the query and we duplicate this and we make some changes on we just get to do and we are going to add the name query get to do and then we pass the id and then we use get to do and the id and id and then we back to the add to do we are going to get the get to do query so we go to here and type constant loading error and data is equal to use query and then get to do and then we add the add variables and we just need to pass the id and the id is the selected id and then after we get the to do and we want to set it as the to do so we use on completed and then the data will go to set the to do and the data is from the data dot get to do so if you look at the server you may ask why we use data get to do we back to the type dev and we can see we will get the get to do under this so the data will under this property so we need to use the data dot get to do in order to get the to do data so we can try to take a look by using console.load the data and we also have to put these up to here because we need to use the set to do after this so now for example if we click on this you can see the get to do data is here so we need to use data dot get to do in order to get this date details id and also the title so if we type console dot lot data dot get to do and because you may not get the data instantly so we have to use the question mark here and save it and now if we click on this or this you can see we get the values the data details id and title and you can also see the values displayed here so now for example if we want to change this to second thing and click update now you can see it will update immediately and now if we click on the other and we change this and paste again you can see we can press add to add the new things so the last thing we need to do is to delete these debugging things so we back to the to do and we go to search the selected id and we want to delete this one and also back to the add to do and we also want to delete the console log and also the selected id that right after the title and now it looks fine but there is one more thing is inside the add to do it recommend that we should use this so we go back to add to do and we can find 940 and 992 and we can type 940 and 92 so we save it and if we refresh the warning is gone and the last thing that we want to solve is if you click on this and just try to type the detail and add the date without the title and click add and you will see the error and because the title is required so we should check it before submit so under the on submit function we should check if the to do dot title is equal to empty string and we should alert please enter a title so now for example if we add again and we should want the user to add the title and we should also place a return so we should not run the other cooking so we try again and click add and now it will get a warning so now if we 
try to enter a new title and click add now it will add to the to-do list